you know, with the traditional values that we have and the practices that have been brought down from, from our traditions, it's all based on love, harmony. If you follow those traditions and the values that we have, you can't go wrong. Our health and the health of our children is the most important part of our lives. The traditional ways our people lived healthy long ago are the ways we need to stay healthy today. This means adapting new knowledge, ideas, and methods to the traditional ways, even as we adapt to change in weather, climate, and local economy. Knowledge, whether traditional or modern, is an important tool for continuing to improve our health as a community. We must pass on our Yupik ways and our knowledge to the next generation. Those elders talk from their own experience, not, not, uh, not just from the mind, but uh, the mind, body, and soul. You know, that's uh, a new big weird. As Alaska Native peoples move forward into the 21st century, we must continue to deal with the challenges of living in two worlds. I was brought up in a very traditional lifestyle where, where uh, you know, um, my parents taught me because they didn't go through the educational systems themselves and they brought us in a way of their know-how of uh, pr providing for us and, and that was through subsistence hunting. And my, my diet was what I was fed by my parents. It's not all about the junk food or the store food to be healthy. It's what we have on land and sea. A lot of the um, people in the Delta know the word diabetes and alcoholism and, and stuff like that. So for the people in this area, it's important for them, for their future, for their children and how, how they survive here to understand the health, the health risks and combat them in any way they can. The Center for Alaska Native Health Research, which we call CANR, is a NIH-funded study at the University of Alaska Fairbanks where we partner with communities in rural southwest Alaska in the Yukon-Kuskokwim region that addresses health priorities of Alaska Native people. CANR works with villages of the YK region on important health research projects. Projects that help expand the knowledge we need to strive to be the healthy community we are meant to be. We're a center that was founded in 2001, and we're founded with a mission to really look at health concerns of Alaska Native people. Our original focus was on obesity, diabetes, and uh, cardiovascular disease, and looking at, at how diet, physical activity, and health beliefs really influence health. If you come in thinking that you know everything, and you're gonna fix things, make things good, that's not the attitude to come in for. They have a lot of other people that come in to say, this is the right way to do things. But what Canner does is we come in and say, this is what we know, but you know a lot. And we need to work together to find out how to address these health problems. Not just my way or your way, but us together and how we can make that work. The importance is really building trust and taking the time to listen to community members. Uh, taking time to explain the studies that we're doing, listening to their priorities uh, for research in the future. And people have said, you listen, and that's what makes us different. We really listen, and we don't just hear what they say, we do something with it. We, they see that we use their knowledge too, and we really honor and respect their knowledge. The purpose of Canner is to identify 
what works, and what works is um, who we are as Yupik people, and where we come from, what we eat, and what we do. Understanding life in a Yupik village takes more than one brief visit. Tanner strives to maintain an awareness of Yupik culture so that research findings and interventions are valid and appropriate. Research, for me, is listening to story uh, because it's within story and sometimes the story might take 20 minutes. Maybe in the 21st minute is when the answer is going to come out. And that's part of being Yupik, is to, to work and to talk around story. We need to be culturally specific. We need to be understandable to her people. Um, you, just, it, you can't walk off the street and do that. I think it was important that people saw us as real people, um, not just as a researcher that was going to come in and leave. Um, we came in with a commitment to say, we're here to stay. You know, this is a long-term commitment, not just a fly-by-night thing and um, we kept coming back. Canner projects focus on what works. In all our projects, we continue the process of building and strengthening relationships with communities. Our research projects include measuring nutrients and contaminants in subsistent foods, studying how subsistent diets protect Yupik people from disease, how keeping busy doing traditional Yupik activities may be protective. Collecting research to understand diet and health among Yupik youth. And researching stress in Yupik communities to find healthy ways of coping with stress. When villages choose to work with Canner, a partnership is formed. A community's involvement begins long before data is collected or research conducted. It continues through the process and does not end after the findings of the data are established. Central to the community's involvement is the CPG, the Community Planning Group. We view communities as co-researchers. We view participants as co-researchers and partners in research. So what we want to do is make sure that we have terminology or language that we can talk about research together. And so what this community planning group has been doing has been helping us develop better ways to talk with our community. Especially the elders who, who don't speak the English language and um, in order to have a real good grasp of the content that they're trying to get across, they would need to have a good translator. We would be the voice for those otherwise um, unheard who don't necessarily have the opportunity to express themselves um, in, in English. Um, and so when I heard that we would be that bridge um, to, to, to make the communication between the two parties stronger, I felt that it was um, the right thing to do. This is a group of eight or ten past participants in our studies who now work with us at the table as co-researchers. In addition to that, you know, he, uh, when he first uh, started participating in the meeting, he didn't really understand what was going on. But, you know, after two years, you know, you get to get the sense of a uh, little understanding of, of what, what this project is about. You know, we're trying to figure out what will fit that community of getting that information out to them. We share, you know, stories or expand on certain uh, subjects and um, find out what word might best fit the people how best to say the word so that the people will understand. The whole purpose is to make certain that everybody understands um, who we are, what we know, and where we want to go with what, uh, what new knowledge we have. 
You know, a lot of it comes down to what elders have been saying all along, which is yuk jiaruk, which uh, means how to live a healthy life. This is the way we've done it for thousands of years. We share food just as we share knowledge. We come together as a community. We strive to be the healthy community we were meant to be. I think it has helped us a lot uh, uh, to know uh, what's affecting uh, our health system, you know. We now know that, you know, some of these uh, risks we know about from learning from what Kanye is doing. And so we uh, kind of coming to a picture, you know, you know, knowing more what you need to do to be healthy. It's not us going in to do something, it's working together. Um, you know, there are some health issues in the communities. And I feel that Canner has a commitment to help, um, to help people. God willing, I'll be able to do this another 10 or 20 years, and uh, it will be with Yupik people who I, I've come to know and, and have many friendships, and so that's where I'm going to devote my time. An agency is finally doing something that I feel is working because uh, we're listening to those who are most affected, who are the Yupik people, and giving them that agency to be able to, to share with us um, what they know, what they want to know, and what they will learn.